It's, it's Wine Wednesday with our in-house expert, Mario Salpietro. Thank you so much for joining us. You're from Corks, and we yes. appreciate, as John says, Mario de, de Corks. Corks. Mario de Cork, <laughs> that's right. We, uh, yeah, we thank you so much for joining us this morning. As yeah. always, you have a great variety of wines to talk about. Yes, I do. Actually, two Italian wines today. Uh, the first one is a Verdicchio, Vinamato. Um, the Malvasia di Castelnuovo, Don Bosco, I think you'll like. It's a sparkling, a little bit sweeter. And Plunger Head Zin, it's a Lodi Zin from uh, California. And definitely wines that can be paired with certain foods. And okay. uh, will all Love be, that. by the way, shown by me this week at our wine tastings on Thursday night. Nice. Thursday night, wine Thursday tasting night. at Corks. What yep. time's that? 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. Okay. Cool. Weekend. Super easy to find right behind the giant eagle mm -hmm. up there in Perrysburg. Okay, so what do we have? Which one's this? This is a Verdicchio from Italy. Um, it's a it's a medium bodied white, very nice. It's one of the it's considered one of the nicer white wines in Italy, and it's one of those grape you know grapes that there are tons of different types of uh, regional Italian grapes, and this one I think is very nice. By the way, I believe it's being served on first class flights from uh, Detroit to oh. Italy. So wow. some that is flights. very good. It's, really it's a fantastic, well balanced wine. It really, it really is. is. I feel like this would go great with fish. Mm. Am I right on? Any light fish, um, any clams, oysters. You could do a roasted chicken, definitely. And a friend of mine said shish kebab with hollandaise sauce. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. which I thought was a fantastic wine. That sounds good. Yeah, this is the plunger heads in. Now, this is going to be your darker wines that you talked about, the maceration process. You basically have a more ageable grape, bigger bodied. This would be good for barbecue, pork, um, anything specific. A spicier cheese would probably go better with this one. It's got a real. Um Unique smell to it. You have some Spicy. nice cinnamon, some plum. You're getting a little dark fruit as well, and I think it's a pretty easy drinker. Very good for barbecuing, like I said. Oh, this is very good. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, this is good for you know we read all those health studies. A glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. So Absolutely. this would be like your glass of wine that you can unwind to and read a nice novel. Oh, definitely, great. definitely. This you know it's a big enough wine and it actually has a nice fruit mm -hmm. on it. Nice full body. Very easy. Mm -hmm. Very it's easy really drinker. Good. Sweet. Okay, and this last one. This last one is a good it's wine for. It, it's a good wine for definitely for. Um, sparkly. Sparkling. Okay. Um, it's a sweet wine. Could be used as a dessert wine. People come in and just ask me, "Where's the tall bottle with the red label that's in the refrigerator?" Usually, so. People love that. They one. love this one. This is it's like really like a nice sparkling, and you could pair that even with some spicy foods, also with uh, lighter foods too. What are the price points on these? Uh, this is eleven ninety nine. The plunger head is fourteen ninety nine. Now this Vinamato is a little bit more expensive than the ones I'm showing. That's seventeen ninety nine. That is really oh, good. But for I think a white wine. I'm not a white wine. under twenty dollars, and that is quite possibly, I would say, one of the best balance white wines I've had in a long time. Yeah, that's it's one really of the best. Fine. Yeah, that's one of the best I've had too. And it's a six bottle, six bottle case, but it's available. Like I said, and um, I was told it's being served, like on first class flights from you know Detroit to mm. Italy. Mm. Okay, really quick before we uh, get a little quick of the uh, check of the forecast. Mm -hmm. What's this about freezing? Red Freezing wine? red wine. We well, talked about it earlier in the sure. broadcast. Sure, we just oh, I was discussing that, um, and uh, basically, I'm sure you can freeze it. The issue is probably you want to cook with it instead. I doubt you'd really want to drink it. The quality, and you don't I couldn't imagine it would be that good. But you know, I mean, you can drink. You know, you can drink the wine if you want. But I would imagine it'd be mostly for cooking. For cooking, and you yeah. don't want to put and a cork put bottle in, in a freezer because no. that thing's going to blow. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't think you'd want to do that in any real. Mario way. de Cork. Hey. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, so much, Thanks for Mario. being here.